All right, today we're going to be talking about communion. And so I want to give you the opportunity, if you want to take communion with us at the end of this video, to go ahead and pause here and go and get whatever you need. If you need bread, if you need juice, cracker, wine, whatever it is that you have uh, at your home or wherever you're at right now to, to take communion with us. Uh, so an important question comes up here at the church, and that is why do we do communion or what is communion? And so we want to try to answer that for you here today. Is, is communion just some ritual that has been passed down through the generations in the church, or is it something more? Uh, the answer to that is, is, is simple, uh, but it's not, right? Uh, we, we take communion because Jesus said to, but the reason that he said to is, is way more important. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Uh, so we do this to remember what, what Jesus Christ, our great God and King, did for us on the cross uh, to, to, to pay for our sin, the sin that we could never repay. On the night before Jesus uh, was crucified, the night he was betrayed, he sat down for the Passover meal with his disciples. Uh, the Passover meal was an ordinary custom in the Jewish tradition. It's something that the disciples would have been very familiar with. Jesus took at that meal uh, th th those very ordinary elements of the bread and the wine, right? There was nothing special about them in particular, uh, but he took those ordinary elements and he, and he gave us an extraordinary new truth. Jesus said, this is my body, take and eat. In, in, in that simple phrase, Jesus declared himself the Passover lamb, the perfect sacrifice for our sins. After he had done that, Jesus took the cup and he, and he passed around the wine and he said, take and drink. This is my blood, uh, which will be spilled for the many. Again, Jesus took that ordinary element and made it extraordinary. He said, it's a new covenant in my blood. You see, this is not a ritual, it's a remembrance. Jesus wanted us to do this as often as we gathered together. He wanted us to take the bread and the wine and, and to remember what he had done for us on the cross. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 though, we are, we are encouraged to, or even admonished to, to, to not take this in an unworthy way, right? We're told uh, to examine ourselves. So what does that mean? Uh, if you're watching this today and you're not a Christian, right? If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, uh, then this isn't for you. It's not for you yet, but Jesus intended it for you. So if that's you, if, you, if you've not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can do that right now. You can, you can say a simple prayer. Uh, you can ask Jesus to come in and, and love and lead your life. You can ask him to be the Lord of your life. You can celebrate this with us. You can remember what he did for us on the cross with us. For you Christians out there, uh, we're also told to examine ourselves, right? If, if we have any unforgiveness, it, then, then we need to forgive, right? We're, we're, we're told that, that if we have anything against our brother, our brother has something against us that we should go and make that right before making our sacrifice. Uh, if you have any unrepentant sin in your life, then I'd encourage you right now to, to confess that sin and to repent of that sin and then take of the bread and the wine. So right now I encourage you, again, if you're not Christian, what are you waiting for? If you are a Christian, uh, examine yourself, right? Is there any sin that, that you need to repent of? Is there any for unforgiveness in your life that you need to deal with? And once you've done that, then, then I encourage you to take of the bread and the wine uh, with me. Before we do that, let me pray. Father God in heaven, we're just so thankful uh, that you, Lord God, paid the price that we could never pay. Lord God, that you came to this world in the flesh, Lord God, that you lived a perfect life, a sinless life, life, Lord, that you took on all of our sin and nailed it to the cross. Lord God, we, we thank you that you are risen today, that you are alive today and every day. And Lord, we do this in remembrance of you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So again, the Lord God took the bread and he broke it and he said, eat, this is my body do this in remembrance of me. When he had done that, he took the cup and he passed it around and he said, drink. This is the new covenant in my blood, which is spilled for the many. Do this in remembrance of me. Thank you guys so much for joining us today, for, for, for participating in communion with us today. Uh, we hope this was helpful to you. Thank you.